Hey, what's up you guys this is, uh, this is the part two of uh, how to connect your pd pdnet app to your ubuntu at first it was on windows so like if you want to connect it to ubuntu this is how you're going to do it so firstly as you know when you get into the app it's going to require you to uh let's we're going to use the wi-fi direct hotspot option so it's, you have to change your proxy to these values right so normally if you go into settings on your ubuntu what usually happens is that your Ubuntu is on auto oh it's on disabled right so your proxy if I connect to the internet right now into the same network under PDNet sorry so this is the PDNet network the password is pass pass so this is the password here you're gonna see yours is gonna be shown here all right, and you can change it. You can change Wi-Fi name and password. So that is mine. And then now it's disabled, right? So like, as you can see, it's not connecting. It's showing three dots, meaning that it won't work. Even though I go into a, uh, a browser right now, I don't know which one. I can come here. Let me choose guest. Go into Google. Let me just search anything. Call of Duty. See, it cannot be reached so what you need to do is that you need to change the values to these right the proxy values so you're going to go into settings under network proxy under the network settings you select manual all right uh okay let me switch off our uh, wi-fi let me switch off those uh tethering on my phone because my tethering was on and it could hinder with your connection all right so so okay it switched off my screen uh my screen on the phone but okay that's not a problem i can bring it back up because like i want you guys to see what i'm doing oh no 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 that's not what i wanted to do i want you guys to see what i'm doing all right it's gonna come back up and there's my screen all right so like these are the values i've in the values okay so what's going to happen is that i'm going to set it in the manual and then i'm going to close it close the settings app um it's still showing the dots so what i can do is that i can get into PeterNet, and then i can just disable the wi-fi right wait for it to disappear on my side and then once it disappears uh it's still there all right it disappeared okay now I am going to re-enable it on this side. Let me switch off the Wi-Fi. Switch it back on. Now I'm gonna re-enable it here. All right. In the phone. All right. This is the phone. I'm gonna re-enable it in the phone. Uh, and then once it shows a question mark on the Wi-Fi logo, then it then you know that it, it works because this one with this con uh, connection method it's not like the usual okay so it won't see it loaded it re uh reloaded the page and there it is it, it's working and i don't know what you want me to search but i can search this and it, it goes through images it works all right it's responding it's fast and it shows you the data usage over there and that's how you know it's connected all right so remember, if you're going to connect this, the, the, the PeterNet app, do not enable uh, your USB tether. It should be off. And make sure that your settings under proxy are enabled or set to manual, right? Make sure that these are filled into the same or the same values. I think they're going to be the same throughout all apps. Unless if it's different on your side, then you'll put in the values that are on your 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 PeterNet app and don't forget this is the password if you in case you don't know what the password is this is the password and if you want to change it you click on change wi-fi name and password and then uh you can change it if you want all right and yeah that's it for me i hope you enjoyed the video um, if there's any other videos you'd like to, to make uh just comment in the comment section and I'll release a video on that. So that's it for me.
Tchau.